I'm Ernie Estrella from Sci-Fi Wire, and I'm pleased to share with you our conversation with the team for Spider-Man Animated Series. So talk about uh, kind of reinventing kind of Spider-Man for the next generation for for kids and, and for all ages. I think a lot of people from the movie we just had to our series that just ended, um, you know, he's been updated many times, rightly so. We've done the same thing. But one thing we wanted to do also was make sure we didn't lose what we loved about Spider-Man. The Stan Lee, the Steve Ditko of it all, where he was a teenage kid going to high school, having angst, you know, having to get good grades and be a new hero all of a sudden. And so we wanted to go back and make everything we did really relatable. You guys mentioned uh, at your panel that you really want to focus on Peter Parker. He's the star versus uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, I think the best Spider-Man stories are Peter Parker stories at heart. And when Spider-Man wins, Peter Parker loses. And I think yeah. we have a lot of wonderful stories that really touch on that. It's relatable because life is hard. And you want this and you go for that, but you get this instead. You know, Robbie, maybe you can talk about um, kind of finding your version of Peter yeah, to find your... Yeah, we talked your... a little bit about that in the panel, you know, there's just such a great tradition of Spider-Man being animated and on television. And the great part about it is someone you'd... So this is a, a new iteration of that. It's its own universe. That obviously draws off a lot of fantastic source material right. to make it something new. And as I was first getting the scripts, the first thing that popped out to me is like, well, this, it felt immediately familiar as Peter Parker, but I also was really excited because it was new. That really, I think, are the heart and soul of good Spider-Man comics and stories, is how he manages his personal life and still manages to be a, a truly moral and uh, excellent superhero. Well, I think something that Spider-Man kind of does for an all-ages uh, audience especially is teach how to work through adversity. Yeah. Because he, he's constantly pinned by, by adversity uh, and, and that balance of, of his personal life and, and his uh, hero life. What you're pointing to is, uh, you know, there's a lot of great superhero characters. Um, but few of them have as many personal sacrifices as Peter Parker. And in the moments of sacrifice and, and personal loss, he always has to ask himself, what do I do? And um, he even reminds himself throughout the story of uh, his mantra that his Uncle Ben gives him, with great power comes great responsibility. And it's there constantly to remind him because it's so hard to get up again and be a superhero when you got that F for your assignment yeah. or when there was a very devastating personal loss. And that's what makes him extra heroic because making that choice each time and making the right choice to be responsible is hard. Talk a, a little bit about the role that Miles Morales is going to play. Peter, through a series of events that I won't reveal, finds himself feeling somewhat responsible for Miles. And that's a lot of responsibility on top of everything else. Um, Miles is a good kid and uh, a genius. Um, he's very, very enthusiastic, yeah. um, but a little reckless. I really think the fans are going to enjoy the, this take on Miles. And, uh, you know, uh, I hope I'm allowed to say this, but, like, he does find he does find himself. Miles becomes his own hero as the as the story progresses. And though Peter's there to sort of, uh, on the side, sort of guide him and play that big brother role. Awesome. And this is due out in August? August, August 19th. Yeah. Disney awesome. SC. Great. Well, there you have it. Now you know when to tune in.